Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. As you can see, I've been sent some new Flight Simulator toys to review and play around with and do settings videos with. Very exciting. It's the Raptor range. Now a big thank you and shout out to Robert at Contact Simulations, Contact Sales for sending me these review units. I actually reached out initially just to review the Holta system which is this one here but Robert went above and beyond and actually sent me the whole range, the Mac 2 as well. They're two separate units and different units. This is a whole test system, so hands on throttle and stick unit, the Mac 1. The Mac 2 is more like just like a flight stick, but it's a dedicated unit, so it has throttle systems and multiple buttons. Two separate units, two separate. Uh, peripherals. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to review these separately and do my first impressions. The first one I'll concentrate upon is the Mac 1, which I think a lot of people will be interested in. So let's not hesitate. Let's get into this video. So, okay, as per usual, I'm not going to show you a complete unboxing. I'm going to get the thing out of the box. But I will actually show you the box, which is rather nice, on this Mac 1. So, as you can see, it's got all the various different uh, instructions and sort of uh, directions and what the thing can do, etc, etc. Looks like there's lots of different controls on it. And, of course, that's the back of the box. All very nice. Throttle lever. Electromagnetic sensor. Hat switches. Rudder controls. All the good stuff that you want to find on a hot ass system. Now this retails. I'm going to put the uh, information down in the description. But this retails for about £129.99. So about £130. So it's on the budget range for a hot ass system. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll just open the box up, get the Holta system out, and we'll take it from there. So out of the box, and on the desk, and all I could say, and all I could think in fact, was blimey. Didn't expect that. Screams quality for the price range. You would think, what, $129.99? You could easily price this on locks alone and features at about the 250 price range. There's a hat switch. I think that's the four. I think that's a hat switch in fact, and that's a four-way switch. Actually, it's moving in all directions. So a couple of hat switches, buttons. It's kind of like a safety catch there for the trigger button. All kinds of different things, even a separate throttle control, which I might use in Flight Simulator for pitch trim. Not decided yet. Feels lovely in the hand. Twist action as well. Hefty base. You've got this kind of a... Most of it's made out of plastic. Good duty, good quality plastic. But there's a metal part on the side which you can clamp down for a permanent fixture if you have your own mounting plates and goodness knows what like the flight simulator like chair cockpit that I did a review of link in the top right so you can clamp that down lovely feeling very very comfortable to use now I've got medium sized hands and my arm is resting there it does feel like it's uh, a dedicated sort of right handed joystick though or flight stick so keep that into consideration but it has a lovely feel to it when you're just resting your hands on it and these hat switches are within easy reach of the thumb lovely ergonomics to it 
I've got to say, and there's even a switch here, a mould switch. Now, I had a quick look through the menu. You can switch through these moulds and reassign the buttons. I'm going to see how this works in Flight Simulator. I'll do a quick test of that, the different moulds. And then you can have different assignments for the buttons, which is all very nice. Yeah, that feels lovely. Let's move on to the throttle system. That connects, and I'll talk about this in a moment, but that connects via a cable. So from the flight stick to the throttle. Throttle system itself, let me just grab hold of that. Now there's a tension knob on the side. I've got it turned all the way to minus. You can put it on plus by turning it to the left or minus to the right. Got it all the way on minus. It's got quite a good resistance on that. Very, very nice, strong resistance to it. And the range is something else. Now I can only compare this to something like the Holtas 1 or Holtas 4 that I own. I don't own any other Holtas system, but the range feels like a third more than you would get on the sort of Holtas uh, Thrustmaster Holtas systems. Lovely, and the resistance is beautiful. Can't wait to try that in the sim. Lots of different buttons you can see. You've got rotary switch here, rotary switch there. One of these has to be assigned to camera zoom, doesn't it? It's begging for that. You've got a sort of hat switch on the front there as well. And buttons on the side, so buttons everywhere. Now, the caveat with this, I'm moving it. It's quite lightweight. The throttle system is quite lightweight, as you can see. Yeah. I don't see any mounting system on it included with it. And you've got sort of rubber feet, which maybe help with the sticking. I mean, maybe it's my desk, but it's, it can move slightly as you thrust in forward because there's good, a good resistance on that throttle. As you can see, it's not moving much there, but just keep that in mind. It's quite lightweight. Of course, let me just grab something. A solution for that would be something like a double-sided sort of Velcro sticky pad solution. My housemate just hand handed me these. I just showed her this throttle system. Even she was impressed with this. <laughs> but she handed me these, and this would be a solution. If you want to permanently stick it down somewhere. It's not too much of an issue for me, I've got to say, right now, I'm a fairly strong chap. And that seems to be working. One of the most impressive parts, let's just move this out of the way. So I've got the cable connected between them both. And one of the sort of uh, disadvantages with the Holtas, the Thrustmaster Holtas systems, was the spacing that you could get between the throttle and the flight stick. Look at that to each end of the desk and it's not even used up that cable you don't need more than that for example I mean, look i'm just having to go back to give you the <laughs> the sort of range between them now you don't definitely don't need it more than that i'm estimating there maybe four or five feet between them if you need it and uh, you know it's going to be a full arm stretch with that cable fully extended probably beyond your arm stretch arm reaches both arms so yeah that's probably one of the main advantages or selling points of it lovely can't wait to try this now obviously my videos are based on microsoft flight simulator i do own dcs world and i've released a few videos on that as well i don't currently have it installed i'm afraid i'm gonna have to move stuff away from the hard drive around on the hard drive to install that i'll probably come back to that in a future video but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna launch a flight in flight simulator set this up in flight simulator first launch a flight and show you how it feels and what it's like to use in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, hey, look, London City Airport, runway 27. How unusual for me. So I'm in the Cessna 172 just as a quick flight test. Obviously, an aircraft that uses a, a sort of hold task system, hands on throttle and stick might be more appropriate. But just to give this a test. Now, I want to show you something quickly. 
let's just go to options, control options. Let me just show you a picture on screen of how the Raptor Holter system looks out of the box. You don't have any controls set up out of the box. You have to set them up manually. Conveniently, I was looking for a more complex Holtas system like this, with lots of buttons and controls, that I could set up step by step for a future video. So you can expect a video like that coming soon. So basically, I've set up a few basic controls, flight controls, power management, throttle, camera controls, just a few simple controls and a few simple sensitivities just to get me going. And these seem to work fine. So let's get back to the sim. Let me just grab my camera and hit record. There we go. So what we'll do, uh, so I've got a few control set up like this is external control, external camera mode switches. I've got the hat switch set up. I had to set this up as well. By the way, that's a hat switch. That's a four-way switch. I've got this actually set up to my pitch trim. Uh, so yeah, pitch trim, it just works well. It's like a rocker switch, so it works well for the pitch trim. I'll show you that in a moment. These mode switches, interestingly enough, you can see that switches between cockpit and external. If I move it up one, these buttons no longer work. So if I assign these to something separate, I would have to have a separate profile, though, surely. Not quite sure what kind of use that is in Flight Simulator, because if it's on the profile, you would have to set up a separate profile in the sim to have different buttons working, which is probably the best way to do it. But these do seem to have an effect if you change it from the one you're currently on doesn't work. i put it back now to the one that I've set it up on. So that's an interesting factor. I'll have to play more around more with those mode switches. So they do seem to work to some extent. Tell you what we'll do. We'll just throttle up using this lovely throttle. Beautiful. Release the parking brake. Uh, that's my parking brake I've got set up just for now. Oh, um, well, okay, I'm going to try and keep an eye on what I'm doing in the sim and keep an eye on my controller at the same time. I've just got the twist action set up as Rudder. I don't think I've got sensitivity set up on them yet. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. This is just a quick test. Pull back. Use this kind of a uh, four-way hat switch as pitch trim to trim up just works well. I mean, with my Logitech flight yacht system, I've got a rocker switch that works well for trim. This works just as well. Not as good as a trim wheel, but I want to keep my hand on the stick while I'm trimming, and that's a good option for it. Let's just throttle back slightly. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely throttle system. I've got to say, and let's just do a few manoeuvres with this stick. Now, I've got a bit of sensitivity. I'm not going to talk too much about it. It's about 30% minus 30% in the plus and minus axis. I may play around with that. It's just a simple sensitivity I've set up. Some people prefer to use Holtas systems whilst flying, even aircraft like the Cessna 172. It's very precise. Very precise. The whole sensors they have in this flight stick just make it so lovely. Chalk and cheese compared to something like the Holtas 1 and Holtas 4. And I'm just saying that it does feel very obviously very linear. Just throttle back a little bit more. Doing this one handed normally I'll have both hands free but I can do this one handed no problem. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now let's use the right hat switch to look around. It's just very intuitive the way I've got it set up, and I've just simply spent five minutes setting up a few settings, and that works well. One thing I do want to draw your attention to, I've got this set up to zoom, and I'm going to link something down in the description. With zoom, if you're not using the mouse wheel, it will either zoom to 100% or to minus 100% so it's near useless. Now I'm going to try and, there we go, I can reset my cockpit view there, but using zoom is near enough useless. 
Uh, it is on a wish list that this comes to Flight Simulator. You can't use that. It's pretty much useless. You can zoom right in or zoom right out, but then trying to reset your view sometimes can be a pain. Oops, let me just grab my mouse to try and see. I might have... You see the trouble I'm having now to reset that view. Yeah, it's not letting me reset it now. Oh, there we are. Now I can. So then you have to mess around to reset your copy view. Stay away from that zoom on rotary switches for now until it's implemented properly. Possibly something like Spadnex might help with that. I might look into that in the future. I've got quite a few videos to do, as you can imagine. But I'll try to remember to look into that. Hopefully they'll just implement it into the flight sim. But the, anyway... Back to the, what I'm doing. I've just set up a few simple controls. Feels lovely to fly. So the ailerons, the pitch, uh, the trim itself with this four-way rocker switch works well. The throttle system is lovely to use. Yeah, I'm just liking it. First impressions, I'm very much enjoying it at the moment. Let me now take you to my conclusion. So conclusion time, would I recommend this Holtas system? You know, for the price, you cannot go wrong. I mean, look, it's 40, 50 pound over the Holtas 1, Holtas X, Holtas 4. You cannot go wrong. Lovely feel, lovely ergonomics. Fantastic amount of options and buttons be nice to see these rotary switches work in flight sim i've yet to mess around more with more settings like i said if you plug this in and start flight simulator there's nothing set up for it so you have to go through the settings one by one but you know like i said i'm going to have a future video on that love that throttle system i've got to say and the range of it is second to none even like the stripes to let you know how much throttle you have in engaged there. Lovely. And I do have to try this with other simulators. It's particularly DCS, I think it will be fantastic with that. Yeah. Fully recommend this for the price. You can mount this. You can have these as far apart as you want to get to the sort of uh, extreme ranges of your reach. That's uh, just brilliant. Look, just a complete recommendation. I can't say more than that. Do let me know your own thoughts, though. Watch out for my other video coming on the Mac 2. That's like a flight stick with a more complete solution. A lot more buttons and throttle control and other gadgets on that. Watch out for that video. And my video on setting this up from scratch in Flight Simulator, as you'll have to do. Let me know your thoughts, give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.